How's it going, people? Feeling a little bit dynamic today. Thought I'd read some more of this. I'm almost done. There's not much to it. This is an interesting picture to me. It's a smaller one. I tore this out of the middle section. Knocking my microphone over here. Really good. I'm highly functional, but kind of a klutz. There's no, um, see, there's a whole bunch of bus stops uh, right here. Uh, there's a bus stop here and like three benches, I believe, maybe four. And they go all the way up to their door and, you know, the Scientology people hang out here and try. But they, they've they photoshopped the, uh, the bus benches out away. I'm not sure why that is. That's interesting. Anyway, oh, and all are welcome to this open house. And there's the hours, and they're serving refreshments. I'm sure they're going to cost you a lot in the long run, though. All right, let's check this out. All right, this is a special feature. This is the inside of the Ramona building. Isn't that snifty? Nice and sterile looking. And there's a sign above the archway. You are a spirit. You are your own soul. You are not mortal. You can be free. And I can't read the rest. There's something else there. Oh, LRH. Yeah, he was only insane, that's all. <laughs> So let's take his word for it. Highly recommend uh, Janet uh, Reitman's uh, Inside Scientology. One guy, back before LRH had his own religion, uh, after hearing all his bullshit exploits, said, Are you like 80-something years old? <laughs> you just said you spent so many years doing this and so many years doing that. He says, You know, when you call a bullshit artist, they usually laugh and go, Ha, you got me. LRH got pissed. Couldn't handle it. Then again, he was full of antipsychotics when they had him on the slab. <laughs> Injected in his butt, so they probably had to do it. They had him in hiding. You know, hiding him from the public. Because he was embarrassing them. Alright. And you know, there's his mug on the wall. Looking almost rational. The Ramona Building. Now home of the Church of Scientology of Sacramento is listed in the Sacramento Register of Historic and Cultural Resources. The building stands as the city's largest surviving example of original Spanish colonial revival architecture, a style that reflects the rich Hispanic and indigenous Native American culture of the Sacramento Valley. Okay. Its conception dates to the uh, 1920s when Sacramento was a hub of a transcontinental railroad boom and California's first state architect, George C. Sullen, was commissioned to design a building sufficient to accommodate the huge influx of visitors to the capital city. It opened in 1930 as one of Sacramento's finest hotels named Ramona in honor of the Native American heroine of the popular novel of the day, depicting the struggle to unite the device cult, diverse cultures of, Sac of, of California. Moreover, the building is intrinsically linked to Sacramento history for the fact it stands on the city's historic thoroughfare, originally carved and settled by prospectors during the California Gold Rush. It's 
It's so cool how historic we are here. I love it. After acquiring the Ramona building, the church first conducted a detailed study so that no part of her history was lost in plans for restoration. Yeah, they have the building. They may as well exploit its history to their benefit. So find out all you can of what you, you're about to turn into something else. Yeah, now it's Mind Control Central. Consequently, all historic elements of the building structure, including the characteristic stucco, ornamental glazed brick, and terracotta tiles, decorative iron accents, and the original blade sign have been restored to their original glory. And again, full structural reinforcement was also contracted to bring the building into compliance with 21st century seismic codes. Yet, even with the massive scope of the restoration project, in, t in terms of construction, furnishings, and accessories, we always planned, always planned and executed for minimal environmental impact and maximum sustainability. To, the, to that end, all was in accordance with the U.S. Green Building Council's leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, L-E-E-D, Gold Certification Standards. With the landmark build, uh, when the landmark building was dedicated on January 28, 2012, it signified the preservation of a sacramental treasure for years, generations to come. Generations to come. Ah, okay. And uh, some pictures. Isn't that snifty? Almost as good as having your own copy of the magazine. And those are books. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. Yeah. Those are banks of books videos, and that's, uh, I guess, the meeting hall, pretty snifty with their crossed out cross. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I understand it's supposed to have meaning, but I'll tell you, to uh, Christians, it means something else. Well, to some. There's a whole bunch sucking up to them in this magazine, though. Don't you want to go there? They got refreshments. <laughs> uh, this is the purification center. And a bunch of quotes and blurbs. The yeah, Hubbard Guidance Center, Purification Center. Wow. What's this? Oh, this is like a symbolic office for L LRH. Eh, he's dead, so he can't use it, but, you know, it's sure nice. I'd like to have that office. <laughs> Man, I get a lot of this cool stuff done there. Anyway, that's it for this. There's not much to the article. It's, uh, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, another article. But I'll do that in another video. Let's not cluster these up. I hope I did better than the other ones. I know I flubbed up. I flubbed up here, too. Uh, I really should get perfected. But instead, I think I'll stay the way I am. Peace fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having, and hopefully you'll stay tuned for more dynamic stuff.